Oh, hello, Ineos and the Frenchos. It's all. Welcome back to my kitchen. Man, on today's menu, I'll be serving you the new Fates Collide Zygarde X card. Yeah, I'm not going to use any shamans. I'm not going to use any auxiliaries. And I'm going to make this deck as resilient as possible to the lock type decks out there. So item locks, evolution locks, basic locks, which you'll see down there in the matches. This thing will squeeze by. Most of the times, you'll see that a bit. So, let's get started. All right. We got to talk about Zygarde, who has very interesting hit points. It may seem, you know, just generic, but 190 is a magic number. Because 180 and 170 happen to be those core numbers that a lot of decks can one-shot. This thing just barely, barely has one hit point to survive those effects. So, it's like a passive built-in focus sash. It makes it's actually hard to one-shot or two-shot this. You may see that. Alright, now, it's attacks. Well, it has like three, maybe even four different forms, because this is like the final form, so it has technically four different attacks. We're just going to use three of them, and I'm going to tell you why, well, what happens to fourth one, maybe a bit later, but immediately on hand. It can do land pulls, 20 damage, and if you have a stadium, or anybody has a stadium in play, 40 damage for a single energy, which is efficient. Highly efficient. And Cell Storm, next attack, two energies. So just add one more in. 60 damage, which is still very efficient, and heals this Pokemon 30. So you gotta do it a little bit more extra damage to take it down. Awesome! And Lance Wrath, it's signature move. In the game, 100 damage. And for three energies, no penalties whatsoever. That's pretty darn good. I guess what, we're going to make all these attacks more efficient by using yet a new card, Regirock, who boosts the attacks of all your fighting Pokemons by 10. Yeah, he's a bro, but uh, well, it's not Machamp, but you don't have to evolve. You just have to put him on your bench and the effect is in. So you add 1, 2, 3 on top of all this damage. It's going to become pretty crazy. Now... If you think about it so far, all you pretty much need is to get these Pokemon on the bench and add energies, which is why, you know, this, they don't really are affected too much by locks. It's just simple. Okay, moving on. The partner in crime, the true partner in crime is actually going to be Marowak Break. Now, if you're losing, you're going to find yourself sitting there some way. He will bring you miraculous comebacks because Bone Revenge, the more prize cards they take from you more damage it does and it will scale into extreme amounts towards the end of games which you'll see so not only that hey if they take prize cards from you you can even use and shrink their hand and well if they don't have the cards keep on going this Marowak's gonna be unstoppable and hey it is an evolved Pokemon which is why it's necessary to balance out my main EX stackers and it only uses two energies very cheap to start up all right, and oh, there is a new Marowak card, which, hey, there's a ch alternative. Bodyguard prevents all attacks done to you, and the you is actually the player, and your hand by your opponent's attacks, which is like maybe a Seismitoad item lock, or maybe something to discard something from your hand. There we go, those effects don't work. So it, it counts as small, you know, conditions out there, but... It's still helpful. And plus, this attack is pretty good. Two energies, average of 60 damage. Hey, that's just like this guy's right here. So EX level fish attack. Awesome. And those are our core Pokemons. No Shamans, no Auxiliaries. What are you thinking, Donald? Well, we must make up for that lack of draw power somewhere. And we're going to run a thick line of trainers. This may seem normal. Sycamore big draws and big draws corner. Accurate draws get you a fighting Pokemon. I mean, you're gonna evolve these, or you're gonna throw another Reggie Rock for even more damage down in any item you want. And because it's accurate, you can compete with these support trainers. And what else? Oh, the Scorched Earth. Well, you know, Shaman and Octillery aren't here, so we're gonna have to make up with that draw power somehow. So, hey, we got 10 energies. 10, that's a lot because they're gonna be used as a little bit extra draw power. And if you know we use too much, we'll just get them back with Super Rod. 
and they'll even go onto directly onto our bench Pokemon with Max Elixir. Because hey, Zygarde's gonna be sitting down there. Regirock can even fight. Bedrock Press, 100 damage. Same exact damage as Zygarde, and it even it's actually better because it reduces the damage Regirock takes. It basically weakens the enemy Pokemon. So that's how the deck works. Efficiently use energies, charge it up, and make things happen without those core core draw powers. So ability lock, not gonna be too big of a deal. He's just gonna lose this item locks. We still got our supporters, we still got our energies, we still got our stadiums, evolutions, we try to balance everything out. Alright, brushing through. Uh, hey, this is an item, I don't want to depend too much on Verse Seekers, but I gotta have some, because Corna really loves supporting herself out. She wants to be a star, and <laughs> you'll definitely see that. Alright, town map. Hey, okay, when I'm knocking out Pokemon, maybe those magical items that I need, those cards, are there in the prize card, so I gotta see them. And some switches. It, sometimes you really want to retreat the front Pokemon that cannot have a float stone. Because this would be holding a muscle band for extra damage. Or Focus Sash. Show it does not get one shot at for those extreme decks that can one shot you. Like Night March. Or Grass decks, for examples. It's, it helps against grass. And there's so many annoying items that people have. Kind of like my Focus Sash. Or maybe things that enhance hit points by 40. We gotta get rid of them. I just got escape rope. And you're gonna see escape rope sometimes. It'll land you. Impossible place. I guarantee it. You'll see that. Okay, so that's it. This is the Zygarde deck. Can I make it through? Yeah, watch me. Let's do this. Wow. That has a look. Uh, that, that's a good opening draw. Oh man, flash ray. Oh, this is gonna look tough. Okay, welcome to another Zygarde match. And... Maybe. I'm just gonna say that, maybe. And now, he quickly got his jolty on them. And... It's the offensive. I, I can't do anything about that. All right, so the only thing I do can do is wait. This okay? I see what I need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and try to charge this Reggie Rock up. I have a Lysander, and that's gonna be my saving grace. And so I, yes, I am able to. Oh, it missed. I am sort of able to get up a similar Pokemon speed, but. Right now, we need Marowak Break, because neither the Zygarde or Regirock is going to be very useful. And I'm, I'm stuck. I'm waiting for prize cards, but I have Marowak Break. He's the king of comebacks. He just needs to set up and get out of here. You hear that, Marowak? It's like, hey, but you got to get me the cards, and I'll set up for you. So, got to wait and see how this goes. Right now, Jolteon's damage, he does not have a muscle band, so I'll, I'll be okay for now. He's lifted his Jolteon up. I guess that, that's a smart move. Time. I can still wait for a bit. I just need the draw supporter. Alright, that's all I can do. I'm gonna wait. That was really smart. 120 damage. <sighs> there goes two prize cards. I'm still stuck. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the cards back. And that's all I can do. I can use Bedrock Press, but it doesn't do anything, because it's out. So, 70 damage. Like, it's so smart. Corner, where are you? Okay, so more energies come on. A fourth energy comes on just for the heck of it. And, and, gonna go and shuffle our hands. Yes, please, please do. He shuffled back to Jolteon. He picked it up too. Corner, right there. That's what I wanted. All right, so. Regirock is fully charged up, but he can't do anything. 
which is which really stinks. So now he's got the muscle band. Let me just take this out. All right. Let's see what we can do with this now. I'm gonna get Cubone, of course, out. Cause he can. He's the comeback king. And Verse Seeker. And this way, I can get Marowak. So, wait, Muscle Band, it, it didn't do that much damage. Why did it only do 70? Uh, I must be crazy. So, let me go ahead and put this on. Make sure that you're safe. And that I'm gonna... Not gonna retreat. I can't do anything. I'll end my turn. You know, there's a chance that I can just get... There's a small chance that if I get all the right coin flips, I can knock you out. So, he finally... It's like, uh-oh, I gotta get a second Pokemon going. Because now, Cubone. Yeah, he's the king of comebacks. Gonna draw more, and... Flash Ray. Why didn't Flash Ray do that much? That must be crazy. So, Rough Seas. Can we heal off just a little bit? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if I should just wait for Marowak Break. Because Marowak Break is the card that I absolutely must d depend on for the rest of the fight. And being down. <sighs> Wait, what? did I forget to put an energy? Mm -mm. So, Sycamore. Pull support cards out. Who's your second in line? It is Battle Compressor. And more cards go down. Now, why Battle Compressor? All these supporters are already down here. Let's see, let's see, what can I do? Flash Ray. Ooh, 90 damage. That hurts. If there was another Pokemon I can throw out, that'd be awesome. So, there we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna charge you up. And we're gonna corner. Corner. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this card. And now. Alright. Marowak Break. Here you are. And the item I need. When I get the knockout, I need to pull the exact cards I need. So, let's go ahead and use this card instead. And you can't do anything. Okay. So, Reggie Rock. I could retreat, but he's not ready to go. So, I'm going to just end my turn like this. Nope, doesn't work. And time to wait. Two prize cards left. Who is the Glaceon? Oh. Is a Glaceon and Jolteon deck. That's cool. And he's almost ready to go. Shoot. Zoroxic is here. And he's gonna remove that. Focus Sash. Oh, the Focus Sash. Well, okay. Ouch. Damage to. Okay. So, Marowak Break, Comeback King, you're here. And all I can do now is attack and finish you off. Bone Revenge. Here we go. Boomerang. Bone Revenge. I can smack this really hard. Finish this off. And we have to get Korna. So Verse Seeker. And I might have to start charging up into the Q-Bone, but no, I don't. I need a basic Pokemon now because this thing is immune to the effects. Oh, I think I can Lysander maybe. Where are my other draw supporters? So if he can attack, Crystal Ray prevents evolution Pokemons, which I am an evolution Pokemon from affecting it. If he gets the energy, which it seems he, he's got a pretty balanced deck. Rainbow energies, all that. Oh, teammates gonna get exactly what he needs. Ah. Man, if I had the other Cubone, it'd be, it'd be useful. But Bodyguard's effect doesn't prevent... It prevents all attacks done to you to, or my hand. But it does, I, don't, I don't know if it affects... Well, this thing affects itself, so no. Crystal Ray. Woo! 70 damage. We got Lysander, too. But what I'm going to get knocked... If I get knocked out, that's the end of the game for me. So the Pokemon that can attack is Zygarde. And now I'm gonna grab Corna. So, Corna, please. 
need your help. Zygarde is the Pokemon I need, so Zygarde. And the item I need. Does he have... I think I need a muscle band. Muscle band around here... It's not. I'm out of Verse Seekers. You know what? I think a Max Elixir may be the appropriate, because now I'll, I'll be able to use a bigger attack. Much sooner. So, we're gonna use the Max Elixir. It is definitely an energy. So, when one's not working, you use the other. So, here we go. I'll switch you out. And I'm gonna use Cell Storm. 60 damage, but the rough seas is right there. I'll be able to use Lance Wrath really soon. And Jolteon comes out. We have a solution for you, but if Zygarde gets knocked out, we are in big trouble. And he's like, no, I'm not gonna uh, let go of your Marowak. Uh-oh. Crystal Ray finishes off and Jolteon. I can't get another Marowak break that soon out. But I have a solution. I can one-shot that Jolteon. So one prize card's left. We're gonna go. We have to do this. We have to get the Jolteon out. Otherwise, this may be a problem in the future. So, zap this card. Good deal. And once again... We're in a tough, tough, tough spot. But, I think I'll grab an energy. Uh, I need another energy. And a muscle band. Definitely need the bonus damage. So, got rid of the Jolteon. You're not going to be a problem as you were. Two more prize cards. If I get Glaceon, or maybe I can Lysander a Shaman, we'll be good. So, Ultra Ball. Jolteon. It's not good. And he's got a retreat, so it's going to be easy for him to... He just needs to charge it up. I need the Lysander to win. So, 70 damage. That's going to sting. And then, can I out-damage it? Yeah. Lysander's right there. I, I'm scared to put another Pokemon down. And Birch. I think he meant to Lysander. I don't know. He said to misclick. But where's N? I, N would be really great right now. Crystal Ray, 90 damage. Ouch! Well. Search your deck for a fighting Pokemon. It's gotta be Reggie Rock. And. Wait, I can force a switch. Escape rope. It is GG. Lance Wrath. That's enough damage. Two prize cards. I made a mistake. I think, I'm not sure what it was. But. Sneak through. Sneak through. Yes. That was so close. Oh man. I don't know why. And, and then Sycamore abandoned me. But we just have to depend on Corona to run everything. And the stadium. Zerneus is a fairy Pokemon. That sounds cool. While Evil Tall is a dark Pokemon. That also sounds cool. But Zygar, why are you ground? I I, 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 it's ground. It's dirt. But anyways, welcome to another Zygar match. Now, I, I do have a bit of an advantage against that. Malamar, who is weak to fighting. So, let me see what else I can get. I want another Max Elixir. I want this side guard to come out and hit that Malamar and finish it next turn. So, please, Max Elixir number one failed. Max Elixir number two failed. I must have pulled all the energies. So, we got two misses. That was a... Should I do it again? I don't know. So, I'm going to wait. And... Let's see. If I do double damage... 
Ah, I just need a muscle man to finish this off. But he's like, Psh, you think uh, fighting is gonna stop me? I'm gonna charge up my evil toll instead. All right, so resistance. Tables turn a bit. I was hoping that, well, yeah, to get that side guard. But here's the threat. Here's the real threat. And soon this opportunity is going to be lost. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna charge you up. And I have to corner. Corner once again. You're here. I think it's time we do something about that Marowak. So, Cubone, why don't you come out? And the item I need is another Verse Seeker, because I I need a real actual draw supporter. Man, Sycamore has really forsaken me. So, I'm gonna end my turn. And if he does not retreat this. I'm gonna corner, I'm gonna switch, and we're gonna one-shot this Malamar, because two prize cards, I need stuff. So, it looks like we're gonna have, things are going to proceed on plan, and there you are, buddy! So, we are just gonna constantly corner, 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 and I can get Marowak Breakout. And for next turn, let's... Well, actually, get the actual Marowak Breakout. Yeah, Marowak Break, come on down. And switch, not the escape rope, the switch. So, alrighty then. Switch, come out, 100 damage. Take advantage of the situation. 200 damage. And entirely, the bonus resistance stuff, is, the ties are gonna turn. Basically, this evil tall will win the trade against Zygarde. That's why I gotta get the backup. I don't know if he's, well, he's pretty good backup, but, eh. What can you do? So, he's got six energies between us. When I attack him, I will get knocked out. That's crazy. But I won't die, I think. Wait, six. Still pretty bad. I don't have any of Well, Marowak Break. You guys just have to f play this out. But I just don't want him to get a shot on me before... Zygarde's ready. So these darkness energies, they may... I may just have to use Cell Storm and not... I don't know. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. We're just gonna deal with it. He's gonna bring out Reggie Rock. Why? The threat's right here. You gotta finish it off, man. Evil Ball. 80 damage. Alrighty then. We are gonna pup you up. We're gonna get Marowak Breakout. And there's no way I can retreat with this. I gotta use my escape rope somehow. It's somewhere out there. But he's got... Okay. And... Thank you very much. And he's like, You love me, bro, don't you? I'm here again just for you next turn. 90 damage. Oh, and 40 comes back to me. But he's gonna get the knockout. So, my second command is coming up. His second line is coming up, too. So, I guess... And helped everybody out. You're supposed to be on my team, man. It's like, hey, man, I got you an escape rope. I got you the first hit. And I would have been, well, Reggie Rock gone if had I had not done that. And right now, oh, this thing hurts my bench really badly. Well, it scales with my bench. He's going to still put more energies on it, heal it up. All right, I, I, I definitely want the focus action now. So Evil Ball, 160 damage. Let's look. Man, that's a lot of damage. Am I gonna throw you out and just go for a big giant comeback? Or can I get you with my current damage? It's only 600. It's only 120 damage. If I get a muscle band, 140. So I read that correctly. Okay. So, two prize cards. We are gonna flippity flip. Please. Don't let me down. Shoot, this is not enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Do I have some energy sound there? I have lots of energy sound there. So, let me go ahead and pick those up. One, two, three. This is not enough. So, instead... I'm gonna use Bone Windmill. Is that really not enough? 120, that is 40 away. Even with you. Oh, 
Well, that's that. Bone windmill. Strike you, soften you up. And send out my poor Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock, you're up, buddy. If he lies Xander's pull his things out, I'm in big trouble. So, please don't do that. All right, Steven's up. Who, which supporter and which? It, well, it's gonna be an energy. There's only the only question is the supporter. It's gonna be a darkness energy. Reggie Rock, I'm gonna forsake you, throw you out, and we'll see what he picks. It is Wally. He's gonna try to get Zora Arca. All right, but I've kept, I've kept my energies. Well, my bench space low. <laughs> There's nothing really I can do. So, go. That's gonna get charged up. Narrow white break. 100 damage. If he had gotten those. Yeah, he would have one shot the Marrow Wax, so I had to choose that. Alright, so we got yet another Reggie Rock, and I am stuck. But revenge. You've got so many prize cards. As such, it's time to go. It's time to make this gut back happen. Starling Megaphone. There's no way you can survive that much damage. So, come on. Evil Tall is going to come out. Oh, I'm going to definitely go for you, buddy. You've, you've elevated my power levels to extreme levels. There's no way. I'm going to get you. So, Bone Windmill, four prize cards. It does! 40 more. Yep. I got it. I see it. So... Waiting. He actually just needs to well get one of my. I don't have any shamans. You cannot get my shamans, so he just has to get one of these big giant hit points Pokemon to win. He there's an Zorua, so this is a variation of the evil tall Zora brain. Strange variation. But still, it's pretty much there. All right, what's coming up? Wait, whiny voice. Discard an energy off this Pokemon. Whiny voice, discard a random card. Ah, that could be bad. Ah, that is bad. Because if Lysander goes, we're in trouble. If, if it, that, uh, please don't discard the Lysander. Although there's this, don't hit the Lysander. What? Bone Revenge. That's what you get, buddy. That's what you get. You took away my victory card. And so Evil Tall is out here now. It does have resistance. But I do it lots. Oh my gosh. Lysander. Whitey voice. And he's gonna go and just finish off by Reggie Rock. And I've used up all my switch cards. I think that's it. between the three legendary Kalos starters. Zygarde, Xerneas, and Evil Tall. I think Xerneas, because, you know, he's got all those nice pretty colors on his antlers and stuff. I like pretty colors. 
very good at judging things off. Welcome to another Zygarde match. And unfortunately, Cubone really wanted to start up front. So I decided to wait. Well, sure, let's go with it. And flip a coin, Tails is as nothing if it was heads. This poor Sushi Master would have been gone. So, all right, what do we got? We used two ends so far, and so eh, it's been okay. I still need some a little bit more extra draw supports. And Giratina, oh, he's like, up. Oh, you had your chance, you missed, and the item lock may go into effect. Luckily, my draw power is still very highly based on energies using my stadium and supporters, which is right there. So, Kiwon obviously does not need any more energies. We're gonna go ahead and charge up Zygarde. I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore. I may get something to retreat that Cubone, but it's not time for you to go up. Oh, hey, there's Marowak. Oh, hey, I, I may get item lock soon because there's an item lock thing right there. Hey, you got, you got an item. Let's go ahead and do that. Do I got some energies down there? Yep. It, it's an item lock, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything I can. Yeah, because... I've got only a few more turns left, so I'm going to burn these Verse Seekers. I'm at least going to get an end, so, and I'm going to pull, well, Sycamore 2. What I'm really going to do is I'm going to end, but it'll shuffle a Sycamore back into my deck, because I need the draw power. So, we're going to use Boomerang. Come on, you got Tails last time, and you're going to get well, one heads. That's okay. 90 damage, so you almost nearly... Well, you did... Got half its hit points. All right, so as it can attack. Oh, he got the double colors energy. Uh, wait, wait. You saved it. And he's gonna go straight for the Zygarde. I guess that's more menacing. Right? Okay. Alrighty then. So I can't use items, or maybe I don't have a basic Pokemon. That maybe just doing something. Prevent all. All right. Am I gonna use Lamp Pulse or Cell Storm? Or neither? Hang on. This is the base damage of... I see. And maybe it's not this out. Maybe. And now, why am I gonna... Oh, I shouldn't have used N. I just refreshed his hand for him. Okay, so, he's like, hey, thank you, buddy. I'm gonna use this 70 damage, he knocked it out. So, it's gonna be more interesting to wipe this way. But the item lock is now in effect, that's why I couldn't play an item. So I can't use some of these items, but draw power, oh, I don't have my stadium. So he's gonna try to charge something up, AZ. Remove the item lock, but hey, he can uh, drop it down immediately. Whoo! Octillery's gonna come out, Sushi Master is up, and. Uh oh, it's up, but there's not enough cards. Hey, wait. Item lock coming back into effect. Zygarde, thanks to their damage, we up the item, and Reggie Rock, still around. Whoo! Okay, so Ultra Ball. Gonna get one final card, Hydragon, and lock everybody up. I'm still okay though. Marowak Break is still right here. I can get another Marowak Break, which is one I feel like I'm gonna do. So, it's like, now I'm gonna lock your items. Grab a whole new hand. Man, what do we got? Well, this game is certainly more interesting now. Okay. Do we want 100 damage? You know, I can remove the effect of the item lock if I get you now. And I can get you. I think that's gonna be better in the long run for me, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and pull you out. And I'm gonna use Lance Rack. Damage increase, 140 damage. Got the item lock and that's it. He's like, no. Momentum-wise, I had another Pokemon going. Well, I had Marowak Break, and... Yeah, 
without without the advantage of the item lock, maybe it would have been hard for her to keep up. So, oh, got got that dreaded, made it resilient to item lock just a bit, just a bit. So, moving on, moving on. Now, Saigar kind of like look like a, a gun gnome, you know, like all the with the mech look and that face. Dude, they're totally, totally a robot. Yeah. Welcome to another Zygon match. Now, I'm gonna play everything I can and end Marowak. That's not what I need. So, I'm gonna go ahead and play end and see what's end gets me. It's like, hey, okay. we'll just shuffle everybody's hands. And we got another Zygarde escape rope. I guess I'll go ahead and toss you down. Do I wanna activate the stadium? Sure, because uh, I'm not seeing. Here we go, there's some magic. We got an energy. <laughs> wow. Ironically, well, there's no ironic. I'm just getting my turn, but potentially any of these Zygarde can will be the main attacker. What am I talking about? So, I'm gonna say hi back. And Charizard! Combustion. <sighs> Evolve Pokemons. What evolved Pokemon? I have to use Marowak Break for this. Whoa! Mega Charizard! He is the protection cube. That means Mega Charizard is somewhere. Well, I'm not gonna let up this assault. Well, I've, I've, I gotta be aggressive. So, we're gonna corner. And because Pyroar is here, I'm gonna switch my priorities. I normally I'd be getting out Ready to Rock right now, but priority, yeah, we gotta get that up. And so, I'm gonna need energies for sure. So, where is the professor's letter? Now. Don't need energies. I want another corner because that means I'll be able to get the next evolution and maybe something else. So we're gonna juice you up and we're gonna use the cell storm attack, which will do a decent amount. Yeah. So speed wise, I I, I know what you're planning. And yes, Saigon's basic. It can't go that. Are you recording this game? I am. And we see Pyrora. So, Sycamore. Following up. Well, Miss Char. He, with all the basic tech coming around, yeah, Pyrora is definitely good. Better now. I won't say he, he's amazing, but. Okay. So, Scorch Earth, both of us can use the stadium. And he's like, oh, Jarzard, it's gone. It's gone. And by Roar, second line, I, I see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and corner once again. I've got an energy. And so this energy, I'll let you live a turn longer. But I absolutely must get the Marowak at least to be able to come out. So which Marowak do I want? I think I want the one with the bodyguard. I want the one with the bodyguard. And for my item of another Verse Seeker, because I really want to play the guy again. Verse Seeker, Verse Seeker, Verse Seeker. Oh, I don't have it. I may just have to end. Okay. So, I think I'll take the uh, muscle band. That's what I need. We'll go ahead and equip you with a muscle band. We'll go ahead and evolve you. And I'll be... Should I knock these items off? Let's just go ahead and do it. All right. So now I'm gonna use Cell Storm. If I, there was a Reggie Rock, wait, how many hit points? Nope. If there were two Reggie Rocks, that would have gotten it. Or an energy. But I'm I'm just looking ahead. I could have put easily places energy, get the knockout, but Marowak isn't ready yet, and nor does it do enough damage. All right. So he's got second energy. Oh. He's like, I'm gonna get one big bite at you. Charizard's coming up. Combustion Blast. Oh, this is gonna hit so hard. 150 if he got, he doesn't have the muscle band because I knocked it off. Well, it wasn't muscle band, it was a protection cue, but that would have been extra bad. So, before I will announce, before I, any prize cards are lost, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Marowak break, completely set up. So, I am going to finish this Charizard. I have to. 
I'm gonna use Lamp Pulse. Just, just, just got 60 damage. I'm gonna use Cell Storm and heal myself. But, wow, all the Reggie Rocks, that's where you were. I get to pick both of them. So, I'm gonna lose two prize cards. This is gonna boost up Bone Revenge's damage. So, two prize cards, 100 damage. That's way more than enough. Okay, bye, Roar. He will get his buddy, but he needs Pokemon to follow up. And Fire Pokemon State can follow up really easily, because, hey, Blacksmith, Double Cuz, Energies, Energies, you got it. So, let's see. Pyro Art, there has to be something else. I have momentum, I definitely can keep going. And, he's smart. He's not going to knock the Pokemon out, but that that's it. Good game. So I'm gonna put this here, but this is gonna be used as a retreat cost. Yeah. Here we go. Bone Revenge is a base of 20. So I'm gonna use Bone Ray. I'm gonna get the first hit. Two heads. 160. Got it. I just need the first hit. Yeah. No, no, never mind. Moving on. Seriously? You made it here? The end? Well, congratulations! So, Simon Brain this deck. Again, I'm still gonna give these decks to people. Because I can feel it. I can take on Nano with this and do something with it. Well, yeah, I did go against a bunch of Locks deck. And you saw there was good and bad. Good! Can survive through both of them. You have a way to make things happen. The bad is, Verse Seeker and Shaman is popular for a reason. They're efficient. Normally, they're efficient against a lot of things. Like, you go against the average deck, of course Shaman and Verse Seeker is good. Or if you run into lock decks all day long, which is why it was easy to find lock matches for this. You may have a trouble with that. Item lock, Verse Seekers, mm -mm. Ability locks, uh-oh. Shamans and then auxiliaries, so why not the depend on the most reliable way to draw and get stuff. Supporters! And less of cards that supposedly support us that get blocked when you get item blocked. Okay, so there's another big question I gotta answer, which is what happened to power memory? Because hey, this wow, look at this. Big giant numbers, but where's three energies? It was impossible to sustain. Impossible. So... I tried it. I tried my best with Togekiss, because I thought this was the way to do it. You just accelerate, well, take all those energy shit decks, stick it on continuously, so you don't have to retreat with Zygarde. And I thought, hey, mate, that didn't work out, because I couldn't keep on, even with the de-evolution spray, let's just say, in reality, it was still hard to set up. Fine, I'm finished. What about Carby? Break! Because that, hey, that thing can do the same thing too. Diamond Gift. Attach two energies onto Zygarde. But what's the retreat cost of Zygarde? Do you have to retreat, attack, retreat, attack? There's a lot of retreating and switching involved. And hey, Carby is actually, well, it has some retreat cost, so. Yeah. In the end, that it just wasn't a reliable way to keep a three energy discard attack to keep on firing. So, took it out and just tried to make his own regular attacks more efficient. So now you know. All right. So, what is up for next time? There's just so many new cards. I have to make a choice. I wonder if Aldino's here. Hmm. Okay, maybe we can do something about that. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait. Music, music, remix, finish them. That's not how it goes. If you like any songs, you can find them in the channel playlist. Or if you'd like to listen to my music streams, they're going to be on Spotify. I Apple Music. It's on Apple Music. And other places that stream music. And thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you back in my kitchen next time. From Mega Audino. Bye-bye.